in the Martian, an American astronaut becomes stranded alone on Mars and must improvise in order to survive. This will come as quite a shock to my crewmates. And to NASA. And to the entire world. But I'm still alive. Surprise. The challenge is, you know, sci-fi mostly is fantasy. What was really attractive about this is the total reality of the situation. How was that experience when Ridley Scott says, hey, I want you to help me with this movie called The Martian? Well, he called NASA headquarters looking for someone uh, that has experience in this area uh, to talk to. Everybody Sorry. takes Ridley's call. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, I was coming back from the cafeteria when our uh, public affairs official came by running around looking for me, and he comes up to me and he says, uh, can you take a call with Ridley Scott at 2 o'clock this afternoon? And I said, the Ridley Scott? We've got an incoming message. Mein Gott. <laughs> Mark Watney is still alive. Woo! In your face, Neil Armstrong. A lot of people, including myself, really responded to the character in the book that Andy wrote. And, well, I think the, 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 the humor and the, and the way that I think us kind of mere mortals are always captivated by the way people can do this, what these real guys can actually do. It's amazing. I'm sitting next to one of them. You fantasize about these kinds of things when you're writing, but you never really think they'll come true. It's kind of like when you're a little kid playing baseball, you're like, someday I'm going to be you know, bottom of the ninth in the World Series. But it's like, this actually happened. <laughs> Earlier we were having the live Q&A. I saw about an hour of the movie. It's amazing, by the way. Um, but I could tell that you're a funny guy. The script is kind of funny, so is the book funny as well? Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's got uh, humor throughout. Uh, the snarky narrative of the main character. Uh, the humor is really necessary to, to do all that exposition that I need to do without being boring. He's 50 million miles away from home. He's totally alone. What the hell is he thinking right now? I am the greatest botanist on this planet. I want to thank you guys for uh, making us look good. I mean, we're, we're, I don't know, we're not as smooth and cool as, uh, as what we see on the screen and even in the book, but uh, at least you give us a chance to look good in public, so thanks for that.